Well, it was a short, sad, and painful life for four-year-old James Dunkley Cruz. A wrongful death lawsuit against CYFD claims that he lived a life of horrific neglect, physical and sexual abuse before his death back in 2019. Attorneys say CYFD had at least eight chances to save him. KRQE's Rachel Knapp has the timeline. A lawsuit details a heartbreaking four years of life for James Dunkley Cruz. Just a day after he was born in 2015, attorneys say CYFD already received a report he was being emotionally abused by his mother, Krista Cruz. When he was a few months old, the lawsuit states a CYFD investigation found the home James lived in was unbearable, covered in dog feces, trash, and roaches. The lawsuit goes on to claim when he was three, APD and CYFD found him living barricaded in a room and bruised. And when he was four, APD and CYFD were called again, finding James was bruised and not potty trained. James would tell police his mother's boyfriend was hitting him. Two months before his death, police and CYFD were called to an urgent care. James had multiple bruises and injured genitals. CYFD alerted the little boy had claimed another one of his mother's boyfriends was touching him inappropriately. CYFD time after time after time, referral after referral, failed to, to take custody of James. Attorneys say CYFD would place James with different family members, but his mother would just take James back from their homes. <coughs> December 2019. Police say James was beaten to death by his mother's roommate, Zarek Marquez. He would be alive today if CYFD would have done their duty and obligation to this child. The wrongful death lawsuit says from hospital staff to family members, there were at least 10 separate referrals alleging James wasn't safe. How many more kids have to die before we get actual reform at the investigative level to prevent atrocities like this? This is an atrocious case. It, this child should be alive. And that was Rachel Knapp reporting. James' mother has not been charged for his death. CYFD says they haven't seen the lawsuit and they will not comment on pending litigation.